down a little bit now I'm going to use my white a few splats especially across that central but it just kind of ties those darker edges in with the middle as I was creating this page I created this page as well this is the mop-up page this is the bit I did off camera got rid of all the extra paint braid it off and I'm going to use a bit of that on a regular luggage tag so I'm just going to cut a bit of that to fit I cut a piece to fit on there because the nice thing about using your mop-up page is it will always coordinate with your original page and I've cut a darker piece here I'm just going to cut out a very simple leaf shape to add as a feature on there a little bit of texture and pattern. I might just bring a bit in on here as well. I'm just going to roughly stick those in place and then I'm going to add some stitching. Now you don't have to add stitching, it's something I do often but you really don't have to. I've added stitching around the edge and I've stitched the tag on and I've stitched the leaf detail here as well. So just a few finishing off things now. I think I will mount it on some black just to give it a little bit of border to pick out the black that's in there before I put it in my journal. I've typed out a quote on some scraps of old book paper, nice colour, kind of matches my manila tag and I might add a little bit of glitter just for a bit of bling. journal next to one of my previous gel press video pages and the quote reads the tiny seed knew that in order to grow it needed to be dropped in dirt covered with darkness and struggle to reach the light thanks so much for watching see you next time